One of the world's leaders in the field of gluten research is Italian-born professor Alessio Fasano. He's a paediatric gastroenterologist at Massachusetts General Hospital in the US. Dr. Alessio Fasano. Dr. Fasano is a world-renowned pediatric gastroenterologist. Uh, my name is Alessio Fasano. I'm the director of the Center for Theater Research at the Massachusetts General Hospital for Children's in Boston. For the 2.5 million years of evolution, 99.9% .9 our species being gluten-free. We, as a species, we are not engineered to eat wheat because for the 2.5 million years of evolution, 99.9% .9 our species being gluten-free. Gluten came into the picture only 10,000 years ago with the advent of agriculture. We did not evolve to eat this protein. As a matter of fact, for the 2.5 million years of evolution of humankind, we've been gluten-free for 99.9%. .9 gluten came only 10,000 years ago, a fraction of a second in human evolution, when our ancestors dramatically changed their lifestyle from nomadic, I moving around, chasing food by migration of animals to, uh, and seasoning crops, to you know, settlers, and that's when they domesticated, you know, crops and animals, and that's when they start to plant with grains, and that's how they develop grain-containing gluten. And, and from there, as the young cr crowd will say, it went viral. It went just, you know, <laughs> all the way. And, and, but, but again, we are not apt to eat this molecule. Why? What is so special about this molecule? The answer, simple, and straightforward is that we as a species were not planned, were not predicted to be dealing with gluten, was not part of the evolution. Indeed, our species in these 2.5 million years of evolution has been gluten-free for 99.9% .9 of the time. These grains belong to the wordy wheat, barley, and rye that contain gluten came into the picture only in the last second of human evolution i.e. at the revolution of agriculture, only 10,000 years ago, when our ancestors dramatically changed their lifestyle from nomadic chasing food and stables to, to settlers that start to really domesticate animals and crops, and they start to play with the crops, and they come up with wheat and the other products. So therefore, we did not evolve to deal with this. I mean, we all, not just the people with gluten-related disorders. Interestingly enough, our species was not meant to eat gluten. That's the reality of the story. For the 2.5 million years of evolution, the humankind has been gluten-free for 99.99% .99 of the time. Gluten came into the picture only in the very last second of human evolution, 10,000 years ago, when our ancestors dramatically changed their lifestyle from nomadic, so in other words, moving around with the seasons of the crops and the migration of the animal to settlers, in which they start to domesticate food and crops, so that food procurement was not the main activity of humankind, but was predictable, and so they can spend you know, their time in much more creative stuff, like you know, to build you know, the, the pyramids and, and the Colosseum and so on and so forth. The, 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 the grains that contain gluten that belongs to this tribe of, of uh, grass family that are called Ardi, so wheat, dry and barley, they came up with the agriculture. So they did not exist. So in other words, we did not evolve to deal with gluten. It just was something that we did not plan. What are the consequences of this? Is that gluten is toxic for everybody, but not, listen carefully, because I know that somebody else, you know, you, you, there's a lot of confusion here. It's toxic for everybody, but not everybody eats gluten who got sick.